Sunderland were caught out straight from the kickoff at Roker Park, but within a minute their apparent daydreaming had led to a nightmare. Four defenders were marking space, no one was marking Andy Hessenthaler, and the Watford skipper fired his side in front with the quickest goal of the day, 38 seconds on the clock. In the next five minutes, Watford twice had the chance to extend their lead. Keith Millen was closest, but his header was just wide of the post. Glenn Rhoda's side full of confidence with just one defeat in their last eight matches. Sunderland were under constant pressure and Hessenthaler was causing problems again in the half hour. His cross came off Lee Nogan's knee, but Alec Chamberlain was there to block. Two minutes later, the Wearsiders managed to create their first chance of the match. It fell to Brian Atkinson, but his low shot was saved by Watford's Kevin Miller, and the Londoners went two up ten minutes before the break. Hessenthaler again on the right, his first time cross found Lee Nogan, and with Alec Chamberlain already committed, Nogan had a simple finish. The crowd of just over 15,000 was the lowest of the season for a weekend match at Roker, and they were less than impressed by their side's first half performance. 13 minutes into the second spell though, Sunderland finally made the breakthrough. A neat turn and finish by the England under 21 international Martin Smith reduced the deficit, giving the fans and his teammates a much needed boost. Mick Buxton's side dominated the next 15 minutes, but try as they might, the all-important equaliser eluded them, mainly due to Watford keeper Miller. For the second time in the match, he produced a fine save to deny Brian Atkinson. Then he was comfortably placed to deal with Phil Gray's header, when perhaps the Northern Ireland international should have done better. As it was, Sunderland skipper Kevin Ball helped Watford restore their two-goal lead with a clumsy challenge on Richard Johnson inside the box. Former Scarborough striker Tommy Mooney finished the job from the penalty spot. 3-1, still just the one home win so far for Sunderland, but the manager is trying to be positive.